Fanatic. I'm going to do a, another wheel cleaning video for you guys. A lot of guys were asking how will my wheel cleaner work just by using a conventional garden hose. So I waited four days. I got about a little over 370 miles on the car. And I'm just going to show you the front rim. Okay. It's pretty damn dirty. And before I do my wash, I'm actually going to shoot this video by foaming my wheel cleaner and I'm gonna use the garden hose. I am not gonna use the power washer. Okay, let's go over to the back rim. Okay, you guys can see. And on these wheels, you, you I hope the camera could really pick this up, but I'm gonna to touch the valve stem and you guys could see. See, the rims are pretty dirty. So, there we are. Inside the barrel. Okay, you see that? All inside the spokes. Okay. So I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod. Uh, I'm going to foam it up. I'm going to use uh, six ounces to one gallon of water. That's my uh, recent mix that I set up this afternoon. And uh, I'm going to see how it does. So stay tuned. All right, guys, got my uh, IK9 foamer. And we're going to hit this front wheel and we're going to see how well it cleans just by foaming and using the uh, conventional garden hose. You think I probably live next to an airport with all the damn noise all the time, but look, look at the camera. The cleaning action is really in the solution and in the foaming process as the chemistry of this formula breaks down the carbon, iron, and the various resins that are found in brake pad compounds that are broken down with the heat of the friction between the rotor and the brake pad. So, you guys can see it there. So, a lot of guys are asking, they don't have a power washer, they live in an apartment, uh, you know, vice versa. And, like I said, most guys today have some sort of an electric power washer, whether it's a Karcher or a Sunjo, if you want to get the Kranz 1122, 1322, whatever. Uh, even some of you guys have gas, but then, you know, there's going to be guys that don't have it or they don't want to pull it out just to do their rims. Uh, and believe it or not, sometimes I don't either because um, I'm doing my wheels several times a week now, uh, you know, throughout the testing process of this product over the course of a very, very long time. So I'm going to push the camera back just because I don't want to blow out the audio. That's what happens with the water. And my garden hose is a 100-foot garden hose. It's a three-quarter ID, and the flow is really not that great. So we're going to see what it does. Guys, here we go. This is a regular garden hose, no power washer here. But you're gonna want to make sure you get in, you know, through the barrel and get a good rinse. That's the most important part is getting a good rinse. But you guys can see here. I mean, look at all the brake dust. Like I said, with conventional wheel cleaners, you know, some guys rely on the power washer. Okay? There's my hand on the face. Let me get inside the... There you go. That's with a garden hose, guys. And uh, like I said, the power washer I suggest better because uh, sometimes with the garden hose, if you don't have the pressure, you may get a little bit of a residue somewhere in the spokes. but. When you go to dry the wheel off, that'll take care of that. Uh, 
But like I said, with a power washer, this product can become a 100% touchless wheel cleaning solution for a majority of you guys if you regularly upkeep. If you wait six months to clean your wheels, can't help you with that, buddy. But, um, you know, you saw it here first. Uh, a lot of guys were asking me about how to use a garden hose and does it work. And yes, it does. I still prefer using uh, the power washer just because I feel it just does a better job of uh, rinsing the solution off. And if you do miss any spots with the garden hose, use your, like I said, I use V07 on a PFM towel every time I dry this, this particular wheel or any kind of gloss black wheel. It just makes it a hell of a lot better. And if you do miss any spots, don't stress it out. Uh, I mean, the goal of all of this is just to get a majority of the brake dust off or 100% of the brake dust off, uh, depending on how you're you know, using the solution, how you mix it, and how you're rinsing it off. So see you guys soon. Uh, just another quick demo video for you guys that are asking about my wheel cleaner with a garden hose. Autofanatic at yahoo.com. Take care. Oh, no, 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 no.